celebrating Singaporeans who defy the odds. This year's Go Chok Tong and Able Awards is recognizing 15 people with disabilities for their achievements and their potential to succeed. President Halima Yaakob and Emeritus Senior Minister Go Chok Tong presented the awards at the Istana. Three recipients received achievement awards for accomplishments in their fields and for inspiring others. Twelve Promise Awards went to individuals who showed promise in advancing their areas of talent and a willingness to serve the community. The awards matter because they give meaning to an inclusive society. Our award winners today are a diverse group in disability type, age, gender and ethnicity. They have all risen above their challenges, strived for their goals and given back to the community. Today's awardees prove to us that there are no boundaries to what persons with disabilities can achieve when given the opportunity. The award is part of the MediaCorp Enable Fund initiated by uh, the Emeritus Senior Minister. It is administered by SG Enable with MediaCorp as the official media partner. Mr Goh says they are now looking at renaming the fund to remove the impression that it's largely funded by MediaCorp and rebranding it to widen donor support. Mr Richard Yu, chairman of Yu Yan Sang, will take over as the fund's chairman from January the 1st. One of the winners is Dr. Darren Chua, executive life coach, inspirational speaker and a gold medalist at the 2015 ASEAN Para Games in wheelchair table tennis. He joins us right here on our program. Dr. Chua, uh, as I just mentioned, all these many things that you are, you're clearly not the kind of person to rest on your laurels. What drives you? Thank you, Rizu. And thank you, Rizu. Um, You know, when it comes to what drives me, I, I think the question more correctly asked to be, what else should I not do if nothing drives me, right? I mean, I remember way back in 2000 when I had the stroke, um, I was in a way lost for a while. Um, I, was, I wanted to be a doctor, but I couldn't be a doctor. And I was just thinking, you know, what else am I going to do for the rest of my life? And then I realized one thing, and that is ultimately in life, we can always do as long as we can focus what is it that we still want to do. So that's what I did. I know I focused on what are the things that I could still do, and then everything's happened, right? So I completed my Spartan race. I, I did my uh, gold medal for, for the ASEAN Games. I, I do my charity runs. And, and all these things is with this sim simple question, which is what else can I still do with the gifts that I still have? Uh, that, that's really inspirational and and you know you've told us a bit about how you push your limits why is it important to you to also um help other people on their journey to overcome their challenges and and inspire them because ultimately this is us right yeah. i mean we are we are here as a society um whatever that i do it's not for myself mm -hmm. i mean ultimately the work that i do when people see people see it as me dr Devin Chua, but the work that i do is a message that i'm trying to show the message that disability is only in the mind, that really, you know, despite whatever difficulties that we have, as long as we have a will, then there is something we can do to overcome it. Mm. Well, it's inspirational to say the disability is in the mind, but there are very real challenges that you face and someone who would not have your difficulties does not face. At what point do you say, I cannot do this, but it's not necessarily a bad thing to recognise. I cannot do this and I will not do this. Yeah, I, I think I cannot do, I will not do, would there be something because you intentionally decide, right? I, I think what I say was meaning if, if you think that the world says that you cannot do it and you agree to that, I think that's something that maybe we shouldn't be thinking about. Mm -hmm. but, it, but if there's a decision that you intend to decide on, then I think it's fair, right? I mean, if you decide that, you know, this is something that I do not want to do, then intentionally decided, I think this is something that is perfectly allowed. Mm. You, you know, you talked about uh, inspiring others, uh, what you can do opposed to what you can't. Uh, when you think about the people that inspired you, when you were at that point in 2000, who comes to mind? Well, um, three groups of people, right? Mm. I mean, there's my faith. I mean, that's definitely one big thing. And then, of course, there's my family. I, I think. Family and friends is always the, the, one of the main anchor 
especially when I look back to the year 2000, 2001. I mean, without those wonderful people in my life, really, I wouldn't be where I am. Yeah. Yeah. So you, 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 your faith has rooted Definitely. you my, my faith and, is... and family. What is it that, that maybe uh, they said or they did that really, uh, you know, lit that, that light under you? You know, it's not really about what they say. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. the, their presence. Yeah. The, their presence that, you know, the smile that they give, the, 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 the pet that they give me. So sometimes it's not really the words, right? A lot of times it's not the words, but really it's the presence and, and, and just the agreeing with me that, hey, look, Darren, times are bad, you know, things are difficult, but look, I believe in you. Yeah. yeah. Now you're, talk you're, you're talking about... Uh, when you when you were younger, before you had your stroke, you wanted to be a neurosurgeon, and then the My crashing dream. disappointment when that was no longer possible. Yeah. Is that was that the worst moment in your life? Looking back, have there been worse moments that maybe are not so easily defined? Um, no, I, I have to say that that year in uh, two thousand, when I was twenty four years old, that stroke incident was really my defining moment because it was really, really deep uh, and it really reached into my core. And, and, and for, the, for the year 2000, the, the one year, it, it, it ripped me apart. Because I was thinking constantly, right, what else am I going to be since that I cannot be a doctor mm. anymore, right? Mm. Because the identity that I had at that point in time was that Darren Chua was going to be a doctor. And, and, and the fact that I couldn't be a doctor, that ripped my identity. Until I realised that our, our job is not our work. You know, our work is really about our talents that we have and the gifts that we have. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I'm teaching everybody now by telling everybody, you know, our job is not who you are, but rather it is the work and who you are. And the work ultimately defines who we are. You know, the work meaning the talents that you have, the gifts that you have, and how you can inspire people with all these gifts that we all have, right? I'm sure you all understand that everybody here has, has gifts. I, I think what's important is also the deliverer of these messages. And I think in a way, coming from someone like yourself, who has been through, you know, a lot of challenges, uh, maybe it makes those people who really need those, that encouragement more willing to listen to you. Do you find that there, are, there is that, that sort of uh, amazing angle and gift that you bring? Yes, I mean, I, yeah. I, have, to, I, I have to admit that now, my, my story is a little bit more agreeable to everyone um, because they, they look at me and they see me as someone who went through the journey. So yeah, in, in a sense, it is uh, more palatable, more agreeable, well, more authentic in a, a sense. Absolutely. And so, sorry, so I just have this burning question to, to, to ask you. Uh, with every year and with every challenge you set for yourself, what does 2023 look like for you? <laughs> 2023 is going to be... Um, so for my business, I, I've got new goals, new sets of, of goals. But really, uh, when it comes to my uh, physical, uh, I, I'm aiming for an, another challenge that, that I'm uh -huh. not challenging, uh, that I'm not saying right now. But yes, like I said, every year is just new goals. And yeah, th that's where life is, right? Uh, and to end on a slightly more somber note, what is the worst response you've ever had from anyone? to any story that you've given them or any message you've tried to spread to them? Final question. Um, the most solemn, uh, the most solemn, it's really when I was back in um, year 2002, 2003, when I was um, asking the Singapore Medical Council if I could continue my journey as a doctor and they said I couldn't because of the fact that I had a stroke. I, I think that was perhaps maybe, again, one of the most crushing moments, you know, the, the fact that um, my, my desire to be a doctor, and yet I couldn't continue the, the, the journey. So, but, but again, like I said, you know, everything has a silver lining. And I think because of that, that has led me to where I am now, speaking to you. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for that, Dr. Darren Troy. He's one of the winners of this year's Go Chok Tong Enable Awards. Thanks Thank so you. much for joining us this evening.